Hello everybody and welcome to this channel. On this episode, I'm going to introduce to you an Iranian landmark in Tehran city known as Azadi Tower. So stay tuned. This structure, which was known as Shahiyat Tower prior to the 1979 revolution, is located in Azadi Square in the capital of Iran and serves as a distinctive symbol of Tehran according to the public consensus. This architectural masterpiece was conceived and constructed by the esteemed Iranian architect Hossein Amanat as a sign of modern Iran and to commemorate the 2500 year festivities of the Iranian Empire within the heart of Azadi Square. The construction of this structure started in 1969 and after 28 months of intensive work, it was officially inaugurated under the name of Shahiyat Tower. The opening ceremony was graced by the presence of the last king of Iran, Muhammad Reza Pahlavi, Queen Farah Pahlavi, a distinguished gathering of domestic and international dignitaries, including presidents of foreign nations, ambassadors, university deans, military commanders, and journalists. Notably, the ceremony marked the unveiling of the Human Rights Charter of Cyrus the Great in this locale. Numerous historical incidents have happened next to this tower. For instance, celebrating Persian holidays is one of them. In mid-March, people congregate in this place to celebrate Nowruz or Persian New Year. During the uprising in 1979, numerous gatherings were held in the vicinity of this tower and after the fall of Pahlavi dynasty, this part was used to welcome the leader of the revolution. Then, its name was changed from Shahya to Azadi Tower. In the aftermath of the 10th presidential election in 2009, Azadi Square once again became a rallying ground for millions protesting the election results. The design of Azadi Tower blends architectural elements from Achaemenid, Sasanian, and Islamic eras, comprising four floors and standing at an impressive height of 45 meters. The structure houses various facilities, including theaters, galleries, libraries, and museums. The materials employed in Azadi Tower include white marble, turquoise tiles, cement, and concrete. The landmark occupies an oval piazza spanning 68,000 square meters, offering a breathtaking panorama of vibrant flowers and verdant trees. This architectural marvel constructed with meticulous attention to details serves as a tangible manifestation of Iran's rich cultural heritage, inviting travelers to know about its priceless and unparalleled historical monuments. This structure has two expansive openings on its frontal facade and two smaller ones on its flanks. When viewed from below, the tower presents rhombus shapes composed of turquoise tiles. The top floor is adorned with windows that have panoramic views of the surrounding landscape. On this edifice, the parallel and elongated lines of its foundation evoke the architectural style of Achaemenid era. The central arch symbolizes Tokchasra from Sassanid period, while the upper arch, characterized by its broken form, inspired by the post-Islamic epoch in Iran. The geometry of the building is a rectangular shape that evolves from its foundation into a polygon and ultimately turns into a dome. 
visible exclusively from within the tower. The lower section of the tower incorporates stones measuring 3.2 meters in length and 1.6 meters in height, expertly crafted by skilled masons. These stones are meticulously assembled with concrete and stainless steel featuring a textured surface at their back to prevent a slippage. Adjacent stones are affixed with a pliable rubber-like sealant to mitigate the effects of expansion and contraction induced by the fluctuating temperatures in summer and winter. Furthermore, the design of the water features and fountains are inspired by traditional Iranian gardens. Due to the tower's proximity to Mehrabad Airport, the square's entrance incorporates a downhill path and then as someone approaches the circular pool, an uphill path leads to the tower. This thoughtful design ensures a seamless transition for visitors and complements the overall aesthetics of the surroundings. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comment section and if you like please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.